Hi, I'm Mark Steiner and I'm the buyer for Scarecrow Video. For years, my uh, my friend Richard Jameson has been telling me that of all the great studios of Hollywood's golden era, uh, Paramount was the best. They had great craftspeople working there that they brought over from Europe. For instance, Theodore Sparkle shot, uh, he shot La Chienne for Renoir. He shot a whole bunch of Lubitsch movies over there. When you look at the credits of any Paramount movie from the 30s or 40s, it has all these great German craftspeople. Hans Dreyer did all the art direction for most of the movies. Well, and then the directors like Ernst Lubitsch, who uh, had a very famous saying, he said, I've been to uh, Paris, France and Paris Paramount, and I like Paris Paramount better. And here are three of Lubitsch's greats, Angel, Designed for Living, and Trouble in Paradise, and they're all set in Paris. Part of the reason I wanted to do this was because Kino, uh, Lorber started releasing a lot of Paramount, early Paramount movies at the beginning of the pandemic and uh, we were bringing them in for the store and I just started watching them and like escaping into these worlds of uh, Paris and then there was like the desert and Morocco and, and all these crazy places um, that was just on the Paramount lot. Uh, I took great solace in escaping to, to the films. <laughs> Now we're at the Henry Hathaway section. Hathaway was another Paramount contract director for the 30s and 40s, and Hathaway loved to shoot outside. In fact, not on Kino, but on, uh, I think, Universal Mod. Uh, the first Technicolor film to be shot outside, and it's absolutely gorgeous, uh, is Trail of Lonesome Pine. Here's three that Kino released. This is Spawn of the North. This is awesome because it's got these uh, fishermen who, their weapon of choice is causing avalanches for each other by blowing up icebergs. So if one fisherman's mad at another one, they're all hanging around this bay, and he just they yell or explode some a minor explosive and a, an avalanche rains down on their rains down on their um, opponent and there's a love story it's a funny movie and a love story Shepherd of the Hills I've called it Vermeer in the Ozarks it's one of the most beautiful movies I've ever seen Harry Carey's actually the star John Wayne plays a supporting role but it's it's just it's a really wonderful heartfelt film that uh, is is great on the eyes and then this last one uh, is kind of atypical of Henry Hathaway it's a surrealist um, the, the French surrealists loved it can't you why otherwise I'd spoil it but uh, it's it's unlike anything you've ever seen and it's worth watching. Now we're at the uh, Joseph von Sternberg section. In addition to all the craftspeople uh, working you know on the little jobs at Paramount they had all these great directors like Billy Wilder, Ernst Lubitsch and my favorite is Joseph von Sternberg. He didn't have a really long career but he really made it count and he made a cycle of five sound films with Marlena Dietrich. Every one of them is a masterpiece. I don't know which one's my favorite. I go back between Morocco and Dishonored and Shanghai Express and Scarlet Empress. And then this is pretty amazing too. Each one is like a little Fabergé egg. It's it's just a, a small masterpiece. Each one of them's different. Some are dark, some are a little lighter. They're my favorite films uh, of Paramount from the 30s and 40s. <laughs> And this is a great Barbara Stanwyck movie. It's by a little known director named uh, Alfred Santel, who made a bunch of great movies. And then his wife died and he settled down to be a dad and gave up the movie industry. But everything he made while he was at Paramount was terrific. This is probably the best one. Barbara Stanwyck, Joel McRae, my man Theodore Sparkle shot it. And you wouldn't expect it to you'd think uh, from the title, oh, it's just some postcode kind of doctor movie. But it's a romance. It's a women's movie. It's got great commentary by Dr. Eloise Ross, and it's from Paramount in the 1930s and 40s, which is, for my money, the uh, Golden Seal. <laughs> Hey, now we're up in the classic uh, comedy section. I'm here to tell you that Bob Hope is not that bad. Um, if you were like me and you grew up with Tim always taking over the airwaves, for me it was in the 70s. I, I hated him growing up because he was everywhere and he was never funny. And then I started watching these movies from the 30s and I was like, wow, this guy's got a great sense of comic timing. This movie's utterly delightful. Uh, Paulette Goddard was a great actress and she married uh, Charlie Chaplin and retired from the industry. But man, while she was there, she was spunky. Kind of reminds me a lot of Gene Arthur. And this is a great uh, comedy mystery. And then, uh, any of the road movies, um, which were also Martin Scorsese guilty pleasures. Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, lots of fun songs. Um, they're always up to no good and uh, they usually get away with it. This is a Bob Hope spy movie. And this is a Bob Hope film noir and it's got Lon Chaney Jr. in it. Uh, it's terrific. And then I'm gonna sneak one last one in here. It's not Bob Hope, but it's great. It's called Murder, He Says, and it's a sort of rural comedy. Fred McMurray as a government agent who the hillbillies do not like. It involves poisoning and uh, people glowing in the dark. And here's a rare bit of trivia. Uh, this young girl in it uh, keeps singing this song that is key to the plot, and it's actually the theme song for uh, All Things Considered, which nobody ever put together publicly, uh, surprisingly. 
And that's about it for my short tour. I could list a lot more, but um, I might give a list to Kevin and then he'll put them uh, on the screen flowing around or something like that. Big crowd here tonight. Shall we dance? And a lot of them have been released by Kino in the last three years. So uh, thanks to Kino for doing that. Just remember Paramount in the uh, 30s, 40s, and a little bit of the 20s too. If you want something that is going to be high quality and very entertaining, you can't go wrong. Put it there.